Hi everyone, Patricia Kate Bildifonso here. In this video, we will be investigating the cellular respiration activity of Saccharomyces cerevisiae, also known as weaker cyst. Yeast is a yellowish surface wart or sediment that occurs especially in saccharine liquids, in which it promotes alcoholic fermentation. It is something that causes ferment or activity. That's why we are going to explore and investigate yeast. Yeast or saccharomyces are classified as facultative anaerobes. They can do aerobic respiration in the presence of oxygen but can also undergo fermentation if there is no oxygen present. Facultative anaerobes are capable of surviving in both aerobic and anaerobic environments. The materials that I have are yeast, warm water, measuring cup, funnel, four Erlenmeyer glass, same sizes, white and brown sugar, chopstick for mixing, plastic cling wrap, one for teaspoon, one teaspoon for measurements, timer, tape, and writing materials. Before working on the experiment, I will be flashing on the screen the results after every part of the experiment. So let's proceed to the experiment. Prepare three glasses and label them white sugar, brown sugar, and the other no sugar. Part 1. First glass is no sugar. Put one fourth of yeast inside the glass then pour 20 ml of warm water. Mix in 30 seconds then cover with cling wrap. Observe and measure the bubbles with the given time intervals. Second glass is white sugar. Pour one fourth of yeast, one teaspoon of white sugar, and 20 ml of warm water. Mix for about 30 seconds and cover the glass with clean wrap. Observe and measure the bubbles with the given time intervals. Third glass, the last glass is brown sugar. One fourth of yeast, one teaspoon of brown sugar, and 20 ml of warm water. Mix about 30 seconds and cover it with cling wrap. Observe the bubbles by the given time interval after 10 minutes of waiting. Set 1 is hot water. We will be doing the same procedure similar to what we have done in part 1. Again, in the first glass is no sugar. Put 1 4 teaspoon of yeast inside the glass. Second glass is white sugar. Pour 1 4 teaspoon of yeast and 1 teaspoon of white sugar. Third glass is brown sugar. 1 4 teaspoon of yeast and 1 teaspoon of brown sugar. And pour them all with the same amount of 20 ml of water. Mix them for about 30 seconds and cover them with cling wrap. Place them in the container of hot water and observe the bubbles by the given time intervals. Set 2 is a container with ice. The same procedure is similar to what we have done in part 1 and set 1. Pour all glasses of 1 4 teaspoon of yeast. Then in white sugar glass, pour 1 teaspoon of white sugar. Lastly for the last glass is the brown sugar glass. Pour 1 teaspoon of brown sugar and pour them all with 20 ml of water. Mix them all in 30 seconds and cover them with cling wrap. Observe them by the given time intervals. As you can observe and see in tables 1 and 2, you can spot different measurements and the rising of yeast. Table 1. As you can see on the row of 2 minutes, 
nothing happens. After 4 minutes, the bubbles under white and brown sugar glass start rising and the measurement is 5 cm. But in the glass of no sugar, still nothing happened. 6 minutes as we had observed 2 cm was added to the measurement on white sugar. On brown sugar still has the same measurement 2 minutes ago. Well, the no sugar bottle still hasn't produced bubbles. 8 minutes pass by, the yeast in white and brown sugar rises up with new measurements. In white sugar, it has 10 cm, while in brown sugar, it has 5 cm. While in the no sugar, the bubble shows up measures 0.5 cm. After 10 minutes of waiting, the given time intervals have their end. The new measurement of yeast in white sugar has 10 cm. Brown sugar rises up by 5, so it will be 10 cm. And for the no sugar glass, it has the measurement of 5 cm. That will be all for the result of table 1. This line graph represents that white and brown sugar has the same amount of measurements after 10 minutes. While the no sugar rises after 10 minutes pass. Set 2 in hot water. After 2 minutes and counting, as you had observed in the container, it produced smoke because of the temperature hot water. All of them have their measurement of 0 cm in 2 minutes. After 4 minutes, just a few minutes ago, the container is still smoking and the 3 glasses are moistening. And in the white and brown sugar has the same measurement of 0 0.5 cm, while in no sugar, 0 cm. 6 minutes pass by, the yeast in white and brown sugar glass rose with a new measurement record of 10, while the no sugar glass was still 0 cm. Past 8 minutes, the container was still producing smoke and moistening, with a new measurement in white sugar for about 10.5 cm. In brown sugar, it has 20 cm, while the no sugar is 0 cm. End of 10 minutes, the white sugar glass has its new record, 20 cm same as the brown sugar, while the no sugar glass was definitely 0 cm. As I was observing, I want to see and observe or give more time to see if the measurement of the yeast will still rise up. I waited for the addition of 10 minutes and I got a new record of the measurement in white sugar with 30 cm, while in brown sugar, has 25 cm and in the no sugar has 0 0.5 cm this line graph represents that white has the highest measurement and brown sugar has almost the same measurement of white after 10 minutes while the no sugar rises a bit after 10 minutes pass in the bucket of ice after two minutes and counting the container and the glass started to moist the measurements are in white sugar 0 0.3 cm also, brown sugar has the same measurement, and in no sugar, nothing changed. 4 minutes pass by, the white sugar and brown sugar is still undergoing fermentation, and the measurement is still the same. Brown sugar and white sugar has 0.3 cm, in no sugar glass has 0 cm. 6 minutes pass by, white and brown sugar had its new measurement of 0.5 cm. While in no sugar, nothing changed. After 8 minutes, white and brown sugar has the same measurement of 0.5 cm and 0 cm in no sugar glass. End of 10 minutes, the white and brown sugar had its new record of 0.6 cm. While the no sugar glass still has its 0 cm measurement. And I was also observing and still looking forward to if the measurement of the yeast will still rise up, I also waited for the addition of 10 minutes like in set 1 and I got a new record of the measurement in white sugar with 10 cm while in brown sugar has 0 0.6 cm and in the no sugar will still remain the same as 0 cm. This line graph represents that white has the highest measurement and brown sugar has a low measurement of yeast after 10 minutes. Well, the no sugar has seriously less 10 minutes past. Measuring the height of bubbles tells us about yeast 
respiration rates that the yeast is undergoing fermentation. And it is really possible that we can also undergo fermentation even though there is no oxygen. Yes, I think the rate of carbon dioxide produced during fermentation was affected by the difference in sugar because sugar has different fixed contents. That's why we use different types of sugar like white and brown sugar to see if there is a difference between them during fermentation. The effect of temperature on the activity of yeast respiration is the different heights of levels. No carbon dioxide production in cold temperature because it kills the yeast and in the hot, it became an activity very quickly so it died quickly because it was super hot. And as the temperature rises, the yeast produces more carbon dioxide until at the same point, carbon dioxide production decreases, indicating that the yeast cells have been denatured as a result of the temperature rise. In conclusion, in the table 1, white and brown sugar has the same measurements in warm water. In table 2, in hot and cold temperatures, white sugar has the highest. With the help of the experiment, we are able to discover, discuss, and differentiate the growth of yeast in different types of living environments. Using different forms of sugar, such as brown sugar and white sugar, and without sugar, we may deduce that white sugar has more glucose than brown sugar, which aid yeast in the release of carbon dioxide. Again, Patricia and Philip Ponsa here. Thank you and God bless.